want to say it was like my sophomore year. I want to say my sophomore year. I was with my mom, Lynn. Love you, girl. I was with her friend, Jesse, and Jesse's wife, Alex. I can't remember if their baby was born yet or not. So just Andrea might have been in the car. We might have had a baby in the car. Because we and Alex had just been watching a lot of, like, horror movies. So we were like, listen, why not make it real? Why not bring the horror into our life? So let's let's go to Blood's Point. And the lore is, like, this woman apparently, like, killed herself on a bridge. And now her spirit haunts the road. I'm not too sure the whole folklore, but I just knew it was supposed to be super haunted. And once you pass the bridge, it goes down a little bit more, maybe like six or seven minutes. And it comes to a cemetery and a farm that's like right across from it. So that was just even more reason for us to get out of the car and break and enter into the cemetery because it's actually gated off. I'm remembering that just now. And we can kind of hear like just a certain kind of whistle in the wind. So I didn't really think too much about it at the time, and I was like, forget the scary whistling, and we're going back to the car. So we're walking back to the car, and I'm kind of behind everyone, minding my own business, seeing the sights that I would like to see. And I feel something, like, push me. And when I get up, I'm like, and I like, look around, and there's nobody behind me, and I like, shout out to Alex, and I was like, I just got pushed by a ghost. I got pushed by a ghost. And she was like, oh, that's really freaky but you probably just fell and I was like yeah no you're right and I kind of like felt something on my side so I like pulled up my shirt and I had scratch marks on my side and I didn't fall on that side I fell kind of like on my back a little bit but it was definitely on my right more and it was on my left side and it wasn't like bloody scratches or anything but it was definitely like those red nail marks and I was like I'm not coming back